Hey guys, it's Jake's Tutorials, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create this cool little um, intro, if you call it, in After Effects. And this is going to be a combination of a couple solids and some <clears throat> text. And then I'm also going to be showing you how to add a lens flare to create that cool little effect that makes it look better. So I have it at 10 seconds, but obviously it's not needed to be that long. What you want to do is go into New Composition, make it around 3 to 4 seconds max, since it's not going to be that long. You want to go to HDV, H, slash HDTV, go to this settings, 1280 US 720, either way, and 29.97 frames per second, and just push OK. And then what you want to do is you want to select the text tool. You want to grab that, and you just want to type in something. And you can grab this or V and move it around, maybe make it bigger, whatever you want, doesn't matter. So <clears throat> then you're gonna drop down the your name, mine's Jake's Toils, and drop down the text, go to animate, add a scale, then add a property, add the opacity, and add the blur. So add property blur. What we're gonna be working with is basically these scale opacity blur and the range selector so you're going to drop that down and you can also push space to drag this up and down if you want so make sure that it's selected the text and then you're going to um, move the scale up to around 300 400 um, I'm just going to put it to 400 so I'll type that in I think that's pretty good and then you are going to want to, so you're going to add the opacity, um, you're going to make that around 10%, and the blur, um, I guess just 100, that's, I think that's fine, that'll blur it out. So what you want to do next is you want to go into more options, and you're going to go into grouping alignment, and you're going to go to the second one, the Y, and you're going to change that to ne negative 50, so negative 50%. And then it's not going to be animated yet. What you want to do is you are going to go down to the range selector. If it's not already down, just put that down. So I'll do that right now. And you want to see the start, end, and offset. So you're going to move the offset to uh, 100%. <clears throat> and then you're going to click the stopwatch to set a keyframe. And then you're going to move it up. Um, one second, two seconds, depends really how fast or slow you want it. I want it kind of fast. And then you're going to move it to negative 100. So that is also going to set a keyframe. And it's going to look something like this. And so it's kind of rendering, so it's kind of slow. I know you're asking, it doesn't look the same as this one. It doesn't go down. I'm going to tell you how to fix that right now. You're going to go into Advanced. And then you're going to go to the shape, and you're going to make it ramp down. Now, if you see, it's going to come down as that's what it does. So you can also mess around with this if you don't like the ramp down. It's your choice, obviously. But next, what you want to do, we're basically done with this, unless you want to change it anymore. What you're going to do is you're going to close this text and then you're going to go into layer, new, solid. I'm going to change this to, uh, I'm just going to change it to a dark red. You can choose what you want. And then you're going to drag that down. You're going to go into layer, new, solid. You're going to make that black and push OK, OK. You're going to push that, you're going to move that above the red or actually you're going to move that above your color so keep the black above then you're going to go to your ellipse tool and you're going to double click on it to make it kind of this kind of shape and then what you want to do is so you're going to push F to bring out the feather properties you're going to change that to what you think is suitable you can move this to see what it kind of looks like at the end so you don't get that blur <coughs> and I'm going to change it to uh, I would do around 100 to 150 that's usually what I do 
so 100, you know what, just 150, that's fine. And then what you want to do is go into the mask right here where it says add. You're going to push it, and then you're going to click subtract. So it creates this, um, this different, better looking in my opinion, but you can keep that the way it was if you don't like it. But I like subtract. So if you just click on here, that's what it's going to look like. You can change the feather, I guess, to a little bit more um, if that's what you want. It really doesn't matter. So I guess that's fine. So obviously it looks pretty nice right now. I'll just play that for you. It comes down just like it's supposed to on um, this one. So it looks about the same. So that's pretty nice. So the next thing you want to do is um, you're done with the solids. You're going to go into layer, new, whoops, sorry about that, layer, new, solid. Just keep that black and drag that down. What you want to do is go into effect, generate, whoops, generate, and then lens flare right there and if you click on lens flare you will see this you're just going to drag that to the end and actually if you move this up if you move that up I should say then or actually before that you can click on this and name your thing so just click on it push enter um, BG1 um, BG2, I guess. And you're going to put that above. And then what you want to do is you're going to go into the mode in the lens flare and you want to push add. So it kind of adds that um, effect to the solids. Then you're going to click on lens flare. Obviously, make sure it's right here. And you can also um, see what it kind of looks like. And then you're going to drop down this and then you're going to go into these options and you're going to click the stopwatch for the flare center and then you're going to click on here make sure it's 155 105 and so just click on that so once you've done that you're going to hit U for the keyframe properties and you should already have a keyframe. If not, just push this stopwatch. And then you're going to go until you see that the text is all done. And then you're going to move this. Or oh, actually, before that, you're going to push shift. And you're going to drag that to the very end so that it doesn't, um, it, it doesn't move anywhere but horizontally. And that'll automatically fix itself if it has that black line over here. So then if you play it, it should look pretty nice. So this was my first After Effects tutorial. If you want more, please comment, rate, subscribe, PM me for some more. Um, this is actually the first thing I ever made. I've made a lot more, but this is um, the basic one that I made and there will also be some tutorials where in my tutorials you're going to have to you're not going to have to but if you want to do the intros you're going to have to buy some effects or you can get them illegally I guess I wouldn't recommend that I'd recommend buying them because it's legit legit and so um, again before I close this if you don't know you want to go into composition and then make movie. That'll bring this up and you can just save it. So if you liked this, again, please comment, subscribe, and I hope to make some more soon.